Hey everyone, this is Harold Wright with BeRemovalSpecialist.com. I'm here to, today to talk to you a little bit about bee identification. There's several different types of species that are out there in, in and around your home, in our state, in our nation, and others that are out in different countries. But right here in, uh, around your home, you'll actually see some of these bees that we're going to talk about right now. Um, the first and most common, most known, is the honeybee. And it's brown and black and fuzzy and cute, but also stings. Uh, they're not super aggressive compared to the Africanized honeybee, which we'll talk just in about just in a second. But the regular honeybee, which is different species, there's, there's uh, many different species here in the United States. Uh, we usually call the nice honeybee the European honeybee. Some people like to say the Italian bee. Well, it produces a lot of honey, and beekeepers love to use it. Now, we'll move on to the next one, the Africanized honey bee, better known as the killer bee. Yes, it was brought over many, many years ago from Africa to Brazil, and then they've made their way up to here, up to the United States. So the Africanized bee looks identical to the European or Italian bee that has been in the United States for many many years you cannot tell them apart by them by the naked eye but you can tell them apart by how aggressive they are so the difference is in us bee, in us bee people we can tell the difference very easily when we're getting attacked by an Africanized hive because we're swarmed head to toe versus the regular Euro nice European honeybee there'll be about 15 or 20 of them bumping into our our veils or helmets. That's kind of the difference. So you're covered head to toe and you have basically your whole suit starts to vibrate <laughs> full of mean stinging bees or there will be about 20 or 30 maybe bumping into you and trying to sting you. So they also make honey. They are also honey bees but just way more aggressive. Basically honey bees with a bad attitude. Now let's move on to bumblebees. Bumblebees are not so common anymore compared to about 20, 30 years ago. Um, they usually make their nests in the ground. They are large in stature. <laughs> they're pretty big boys. Um, basically, they're, they're yellow and black, and they live underground. They will sometimes live in trees and sometimes in people's homes. But um, a lot of times they like to, to find a nice, moist, wet area in, in some gr uh, grass clippings. <clears throat> so always be careful when you're messing around with your gla grass clippings. Um, they do sting. They make honey, not enough to to be harvested by us, but um, but they actually do have some honey cups, and they sting. And when they're st when you get stung by a bumblebee, you'll f it feels like fire. You will be in pain. Um, the next one, the carpenter bee. Well. The carpenter bee, I actually like to call them the carpenter bumblebee because they look just like a bumblebee. They're big, they're black and yellow, striped, uh, but they live in the wood. They'll actually dig tunnels in wood. They, um, they're territorial. The males do not sting, the females do, and I've never been attacked by them. When I, you know, they're, they're not that aggressive, but they will scare you because they'll zoom by you. Uh, they usually will chase off birds and other pests that are around. Um, and they do make some, they call it bee bread, kind of pollen they, that they eat and they put it up into the, the little tunnels in your wood. So if you ever have, if you do have carpenter bumblebees, don't think of it as a good thing. Don't think of it as like, oh, that's so cool that we have some bees and they're, they're beneficial, blah, blah, blah. Well, they're going to keep on drilling holes until your patio furniture or your, or your, Arbor is completely eaten through. So get rid of them as soon as you see them. Um, stingless bees. They're not common here in in United States. They're actually located in Central South America. Um, I traveled to Brazil once and, and actually saw some of these bees living in some uh, hollowed out logs that some people had hanging in front on their patio. <laughs> and I thought it was really strange when I first saw it. I didn't know that they were stingless bees, and they let me know they, they don't sting, and here's the honey, and tried it. It was a little strong, but it was still good. Um, so we don't have to really worry about them. But they're smaller, and they look like honeybees, but they're just little tiny honeybees. Um, now we also have yellow jackets. 
Yellow jackets, there's different types. Uh, the really small, tiny yellow jacket is yellow and black striped. Beautiful markings when you see it up close, but you don't want to see it up close when they're alive because they will tear you up. They bite and sting, so when they get a hold of you, and of course I've seen this with my own, you know, up close and personal, they'll bite my 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 glove, and then they'll you'll see them just stinging you nonstop. And that's exactly what they do when they get a hold of your leg or arm or anywhere. They'll bite and then sting. They'll leave two holes in you. And their sting will last for, the pain will last for about four or five days. So they like to live in and under sheds. Uh, they live in the ground. Um, they'll even live in the eaves and walls of people's homes. But um, it's, it's most common, it's, they're actually going to be in the, right in the ground. So when you're mowing your lawn, they'll just come up and attack you and you'll, you'll, you'll be in pain. So if you ever see your dogs getting attacked, just, you know, I'd recommend grabbing your dog and run inside. Take some of the stings, save your animals. Um, hopefully you get there in time. Moving on, hornets. Um, different types of hornets in, uh, in northern United States and there's also in the south. Um, they like to make their nests in the, in the trees, uh, sometimes in the bushes, in the ground. Uh, they do sting. Most of them do sting. So be very careful of them. Do not throw the rocks at them and <laughs> at their nests because they will get you. But um, they're beautiful as well. Their markings, they'll have, they have uh, bald-faced hornets, they're uh, white-faced and beautiful markings. Um, then you have some wasps, there's a different types of red wasps, and they'll be yellow and brownish and black and dark brown and all different types of wasps that usually will get into your eaves and chimneys. Um, then you'll have uh, the, the cicada, well wasps also, also sting. Then you'll have cicada killers. This is a beautiful large like, type of hornet that lives in the ground they're predominantly seen only during the summer months of July, June, July, and August, I'd say. Um, and they, they can cause a mess in your yard, lots of little holes. They, they, what they do is they're called cicada killers. So they actually will capture cicadas. They'll hunt the cicadas, and they'll take them down into their little holes. They'll have about four or five chambers in each hole, and they'll lay their eggs, and the eggs will eat the cicada and... Uh, basically they, they grow up to be more cicada killers. Um, they do have big stingers and they can sting you if you grab it uh, but they generally will not attack you. I've never been attacked by one, never got stung by one and been around them a lot. So if you're wanting to um, to check out more information then this is where you need to go. Go to bremovalspecialist.com forward slash b dash identification forward slash home dot html and there you will be able to see pictures and more information on each of these and we hope this will help you and good luck cool man that was easy i think it was